is one of the greatest welterweights in UFC history, the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman. Some criticized maybe his risk mitigation late in that Leon Edwards fight, but this man is an offensive fighter. He's got every skill in the book, and uh, we'll see which ones he chooses to employ here tonight. It's crazy because when he came off the offensive fight, I mean, he was known as a bit boring. But him and Trevor Whitman have such a great partnership that they have developed a style that works for Kamaru, and it works at such an elite level. He got caught. How does he bounce back? This guy, his jab is tremendous. He can knock you out with it. His wrestling and his top control is second to none. Kamaru Usman possesses all the skills in the world. How does he implement those skills tonight when he steps inside the outfit? And one thing you never have to worry about is the output, the work ethic, one of the hardest workers in the room in the UFC. And he is at the height of motivation getting back on the proven ground tonight. Championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight. Champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. And there's Herb Dean, who will right. handle the action inside right. the octagon. Yeah. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated yeah. stand-up only event. You've got to play by the rules here. There are a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by us. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right here. Body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of difference. Straight range lands, that's as good a punch as he's thrown on it. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Oh, big right hand! And they are exchanging leather early. Oh my goodness! He loaded up there on that high kick. Right hand. Oh, 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 huge shots being landed on both sides. We 
March on, three minutes to go. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned. This is big. That's big. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Man, what a fight. Nice kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Man, has his chin been tested early? Oh, nice right in. Oh! Some real power shots here. Massive left hand. Lands the jab. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not... Oh! Back to the feet now. Muhammad Ali's circling towards the left now. Great commitment to the kicking game. Under a minute to go. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite at heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains.